Hi, I'm Robert Estrin here at livingpianos.com. Today's question is, what is a pin block? You've probably heard about a pin block in a piano and it is a fundamentally important part of the instrument because if the pin block is shot, the only way to fix it properly is to rebuild the piano, removing the plate, which is very costly. So it's something you should definitely check out with any piano you look at. Well, the pin block, the pin block is actually what holds the piano in tune. You see, the pins go through the cast iron frame, but what actually holds the tension on the pins is the pin block, which are multi-laminations of hardwood beneath the cast iron plate of the piano. Holes are drilled to tolerances of thousandths of an inch at precise angles. The pins are knocked in there, and that is what keeps the tension and there are tons of tension, string tension, the pin block must hold. Now, you can't really see the pin block. You can remove the fall board of the piano and look at the underside, and, but generally, you can't really see much from there. I mean, it would be very rare to see cracks underneath there. I guess a disaster pin block, a piano that maybe was dropped might have cracks, but, so how do you know if the pin block is good or not? Well, if you've ever gone to a piano and played through, and you notice that you play one key and you get more than one note, it's possible that one of those strings has dropped in pitch. Well, if you try to tune that low string up and it keeps slipping back down and the tension is not maintained on the pin, you can't tune your piano. Now, you can try using oversized pins, but if it's a crack, it'll just make the crack bigger. So, Generally speaking, if that is a situation you have where certain notes will not hold, certain strings will not re keep their tension, really you have to rebuild the piano, take the plate out and make a new pin block, restring the piano and all of that. There's another occasion that you may need to get a new pin block even if everything is working just fine. Well, let's say you have a piano and it's been restrung a couple of times and they use the original pin block. There's nothing wrong with that. In fact, you can go up two thousandths of an inch in the pin diameter each time you restring. So pianos start with what are called two-op pins. And then when you restring, generally you go up to four-op. And then when you string, restring again, the biggest pin you'd want to use would be a six. So that's the last time you could restring without using ridiculously large pins. So even if the pin block has integrity, once you've restrung the piano a couple of times, you still need to replace the pin block. So something very important to look for in pianos. Thank you for joining me, Robert Estrin, and this is all about pin blocks today. See you next time at livingpianos.com.